Hi everyone, I'm coming on camera again to give more tips about um, transitioning and regular natural hair care. So today I'm going to talk about the type of combs to use, the type of diet to incorporate into your normal diet, and I'm also going to talk a little bit about conditioners. So first of all, I'm going to talk about combs. So I have like accumulated some combs over here, some that I dropped. But anyways, I have my combs, everything like that. I do have a brush, but I didn't quite bring it because it's the wrong type of brush to use and I don't normally use that brush. So here are my combs. I have a rat's tail comb. I have a large rat's tail comb with wide tooth. This is a Dimmon brush. It's the fake brand, but it is what it is. It's a Dimmon brush. Here's a regular Conair comb. My favorite wide tooth comb I use all the time and a detangling comb. Okay, so basically when you go natural, when you transition, you have to stay away, stay away from these type of combs. You see these teeth? They're much smaller. If I was to comb my hair with these right now, or even when wet, major, major, major breakage. I'm just gonna be setting myself up to comb my hair out, literally out of my scalp. So when you're transitioning, your natural hair does not like these type of combs with smaller, you know, it's not wide tooth, it's smaller. Now, if you're styling your hair and you need to part your hair, it's no problem using the rat's tail part of it. You know, it's no problem sticking that up in there and making a part but don't try to comb because it's not going to happen. So um, these combs you'd kind of want to stay away from and kind of aim towards the wide tooth, such as this. And this. And this one. And some natural ladies like to use the Dimmon brush, which is a combination between a comb and a brush. Now, when you comb, you always, 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 as um, you know, being natural or transitioning, always, always, always comb your hair wet. Unless your hair is blow dried and straightened, before you get to the blow dry and straightened part, do not stick a small comb in your head or, um, you know, try to style your hair or whatever wet you know still knotted up and not detangled now if your hair is blow dried and straightened then this comb and this comb is not a problem it's fine but if your hair is wet and in a curly state always comb your hair then and comb it with a wide tooth comb and start from the ends and work your way on up to the top making sure you you know comb it down through getting the knots out all the way down and you, if you have a lot of hair, it's best to take and work in small sections and work your way up. Because if you start from the top, you're taking all the knots up there and you're pushing them down. And when you push them down, you're just going to accumulate a big old knot right here versus and all of what you didn't comb yet. You don't want to do that. You got to work your way from the bottom up. Okay, so that's just the combing aspect of it and you do that, and if you have a lot of hair or whatever it may be, you have to do it in small sections, and it's best for your hair. And sometimes what I do before I even comb my hair with a wide tooth comb is I kind of finger detangle that section, try to smooth out as many knots as possible, just to make my life easier. If I'm able to make my life easier doing that type of combing than I do, and then I take a regular comb and go through it, okay? So that's the combing aspect. Once again, this is a Dimmon brush. 
I got this at Marshall's for like $4 and I kind of like bent it up because I was trying to take this cap off of it. It's supposed to be removable, but I use this every now and then just in case anyone was going to ask. And then you can get these from your regular beauty supply store or Walmart. All the rest of these combs. I believe this one came in a pack of like 12 different types of combs. Okay. So that's that. Next, I'm going to talk about conditioners. I have Herbal Essence Hello Hydration. I have Aveeno Nourish and Moisturize. I have Essential Oils. Rosemary Mint. And I have... Ooh, this is a shampoo, not conditioner. So I'm going to get rid of that one. That's the Aveeno. And I have the um, Shea Moisture Restored, um, Shea, Raw Shea Butter Restorative Conditioner. And I have my all-time favorite Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioner. Okay, so let's talk conditioners. What type of conditioners are you to use? Um, since I'm showing you all these conditioners, I use them. These are the ones I use, but each have their own level of ingredients. And I would like to say that this product right here, Shea Moisture Restorative Conditioner is 100% organic. All of it's organic and every ingredient in here I understand. So the ingredients in here is water, shea butter, argan oil, coconut oil, uh, essential oil blend, vegetable glycerin, um, emulsifying wax, sea kelp extract, vitamin B5, avocado oil, honeysuckle flour, uh, Japanese honeysuckle, vitamin E, and carrot seed oil. I understand all that. It has no parabens, um, no paraffin, no gluten, no mineral oil, no synthetic fragrance, no synthetic color, and no animal ingredients so this is 100 percent organic and i under it has everything in here that's good for your hair and everything out of it that's not good for your hair so that's that now this product is good to use and they range about ten dollars per bottle or jar or whatever that you have but this is good for your hair um and this right here is a um restorative conditioner so it has protein in it especially from the coconut oil which is about the third or fourth ingredient on here oh and there's also water in here that's the first ingredient um and shea butter is for the moisture which is the second ingredient and then there's argan oil and then coconut oil is the fourth ingredient so this is a nice moisturizing protein conditioner and that's one that i use now i use hello hydration which is regular um and i can admit i don't know everything that is in this conditioner however the first ingredient is water and there are some silicones in here but it's not um the type of silicone in here that is to coat your hair so that it's not able to either get any water in or out um, it also has coconut oil in here and um see what else is in here there's some fragrance in here however let me explain how i use this this conditioner i use it to co-wash now that's a natural hair term meaning to wash with conditioner only and again that's herbal essence hello hydration a lot of naturals actually use herbal essence because it's good for the hair but like i said i must admit i don't know every ingredient that's in here and that's something that i'm still learning along my hair journey and eventually as i figure it out um you know i'll explain to everyone and uh we can discuss together if you happen to get to it before i do but this i use to co-wash meaning i wash my hair with conditioner i um wet my, soak my hair down, take this as if it was shampoo, put it in my hair, lather it in my hair. Now it won't soap up because it, do, it doesn't have sulfate in it to soap up like shampoo does. But um, it cleans your hair while keeping the moisture ster still in it because as I will talk about in a minute, shampoo does dry your hair out if you don't use the right kind. So 
I also use the Herbal Essence Hello Hydration. Now these are what I use. You still need to find what you what is best for you so i can only make suggestions i can only share what i use but you need to find what's best for you and if the products that i am using is what's best for you then that's good but um when you use these products see how it treats your hair see how long your hair may last in its current state um after a few days or so and see if that product is good for you now um this hello hydration even though i use it to co-wash i do use it sometimes as a leave-in conditioner and um it's not a leave-in conditioner but i do use it and i tested it out a few times as a leave-in conditioner and it does absolutely um nothing wrong to my hair and it's fine so i like using this as a leave-in conditioner as well now my other favorite is the cantu can um butter leave-in conditioner i also use this as um a leave-in oh actually duh yeah i use it as a leave-in but i also don't understand all of the ingredients that are in here but it gets good reviews um it's a natural hair product and it is one of my favorites so it must be doing something right it makes it keeps my hair moisturized wonderfully i bought this probably a little over a month ago and if you can see where it is there we go down there at the bottom see that's where it is so I obviously use this a lot but since I've made my whipped shea butter I've kind of been giving this a rest so this will probably last me a couple more uh, month, months or so next thing I use is essential oils rosemary mint now this is my protein conditioner I will never leave this in it's a very um like it's very good as far as my protein treatment. I have a moisturizing conditioner, which is um I didn't bring it, but I have a moisturizing conditioner and this one is my protein conditioner. And sometimes my moisturizing conditioner is just nothing but olive oil, which adds moisture into my hair. And I sit under, I put my hair in a cap wet and sit under the hair dryer with that for a little while. But this is essential oil and it's a um, protein conditioner. The only reason why I know this is because of the ingredients that are in it. Um, it has quinoa, quinoa, which is rich in protein and amino acids. And it has aloe vera, vitamin A and E, which um, has antioxidants and it. it has coconut oil which is also rich in protein it lightly conditions the hair restores the scalp softness naturally and it has um, other things such as white tea chamomile and calendula so but this is and it smells like menthol so it has the mint in there it, it what is it it reminds me of Vicks no lie it, it smells like Vicks so this is a, a very strong protein treatment and I put this in my hair about every other week. So um, no matter how many times I may wash my hair within the week, this is going in my hair every two weeks. I don't put it in. I use a, a less strong protein treatment such as this to put in every other wash. This is every other week. So that's what I use. So those are just some product suggestions that I use. Okay, this doesn't mean for you to go out and buy them, break your pockets, none of that stuff. Just those are some of the products that I use. And once again, this is for um, those who are thinking about transitioning and those who are at the beginning of their natural hair journey. And even if you're in the middle, because I've been natural for two and a half years and I am just learning how to be a real natural. You know, I, I still used, you know, the regular shampoo and conditioners that I call over the counter, but that are at the drugstore and they they weren't necessarily good for my hair, even though I thought they were. So I'm still learning things as well. So even though I'm not newly natural, um, I'm still learning and I need to learn how to use the right things and I want to share that with other people. So the next thing I want to talk about is shampoo. Now with me I have a shampoo, a Vino Nourish and Moisturize that's not so good for your hair and a shampoo which is the Shea Moisture I shared the conditioner with you that is very good for your hair. Now let me explain the Aveeno Nourish and Moisturize. It has silicones in it. It will strip your hair dry if used over and over and over again um, as 
to style your hair with and everything like that. Um, and I use this type of shampoo when I have a lot of product buildup and I just want it on up out of my head and I want to um, just re-put that moisture back in there. You can also use apple cider, apple cider vinegar um, mixed with water to also strip your hair of product buildup if you want to do it the natural way. But when I get lazy, sometimes I just use regular shampoo. But used over time, it will dry your hair out. It has silicones and sulfates in it. And sulfate is actually what allows your hair to soap up the way it does. It has um, also a lot of fillers in it, which um, I will explain. Um, actually, I have a link that I will post in the description box about further information on some of the ingredients that are in this type of shampoo. So this is a, a shampoo that um, doesn't exactly have in it all the things that are good for my hair. Now, it, it does try. It really does try. The first ingredient is water. Um, they have some wheat, oat, and wheat germ in here. Um, and let's see what else they have that may look good because there's a lot of ingredients in here that I do not understand. So um, this is just an example. I'm not bashing Aveeno Nourish and Moisturizer because before I knew a difference, I was like, oh, I love this shampoo. It's so wonderful. It's so beautiful and everything like that. But I wasn't wearing my hair. Oops. I wasn't wearing my hair like this. I was wearing my hair in a roller set state. But I must admit that a couple days later, my hair didn't like the way that it, it my curls didn't stay. My curls didn't stay like they should have. Now, using this shampoo, once again, um, I'll read the ingredients. Water, sugar beets, shea butter, aloe vera leaf juice, argan oil, pro-vitamin B5, rosemary extract, sea kelp extract, vitamin E, honeysuckle, Japanese honeysuckle. Those are all the ingredients in there and I read every single one and I understood every single one. It has no parabens, no paraffin, no gluten, no mineral oil, no animal ingredients, no synthetic color, no synthetic fragrant fragrance. This is 100% organic. And the, it doesn't quite soap up as much because once again, there's no sulfate in it, but it cleans your hair and it keeps it nice and squeaky clean. And I can style my hair like this after and a few days later, it's still up and running and kicking. So this is a very good product for your hair. Um, it doesn't have any fillers in it, nothing that will dry your hair out or coat your hair to the point where no water will penetrate into it. And once again, it's made from shea butter and shea butter is one of those really 100% good moisturizers for your hair and your skin. Okay, so that's basically it. And um, next, but lastly, <laughs> I wanna talk about um, Actually, I'll leave that for another time. I was going to talk about diet, um, what to add to your diet, but I will talk about that another time. This video is going on 20 minutes, and I'm really hoping that I didn't bore you ladies um, and gents, whoever are trying to, to you know, go on your natural journey. So I hope this was helpful. Feel free to leave questions. Um, I would like to thank all of my new fans on my Facebook page. This video is for you guys and the questions that you have to ask um, and that you have been asking me. Um, I thought that it was easier to talk to you through a video versus sending pages and pages and pages. I'm not quite a blogger. I am not going to sit there and write pages or whatever of explaining myself when I just find it easier to talk to you guys. So leave your questions, comments, and posts below. Subscribe to my channel for more updates and um, like my Facebook page if you already haven't. So until next time, I will see all you ladies later. Bye.